Guys, this is your warning. This is the extended spoilers discussion where we go through almost every scene in the film, what we thought of it. So strap yourselves in. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to wait until you see it, do that. Cue up our non-spoiler review first, which is the previous video. This is to dive into the nitty gritty and get our thoughts on all of the individual pieces as we remember it, because it was a four-hour long movie. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank our sponsor, G Fuel, for helping us get through the six hours of content we went through to review it, uh, the Josh Whedon version in this one. Uh, grab your tub now. I got a discount off, largest discount right now. Thank you so much for supporting us. It supports the show, by, by the way, by grabbing a tub directly. So thank you all so much, and hopefully you enjoy. Check it out. All right. No, you want to stop it? Um, yeah. Okay. Let me stop. All right. Welcome to the spoiler section. Or oh, no, you put on your headphones. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to the spoiler section. We're getting into the nitty gritty, the differences here. Uh, so, you know, it opens with, I don't know. Fuck, I didn't say this before. I wanted to put that in the other review. It was in 4-3 aspect ratio for us uh, while we were watching a screener. I don't know if that's the way it's going to be in the final version, but if it is, it's a little disappointing. Hopefully it's the full HD and, the, and 16 by whatever. So anyway, it begins with a Superman yell uh, across Atlantis, you know, across the mascara. Uh, there's far more set up for various scenes. The fishing village has been expanded. Uh, we, but we get that odd girl singing and 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 smelling Jason Momoa's. Yeah, clothes. what was up with that? <laughs> I'm like, this is for the women, but this, even this is a little creepy, Zach. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Here. take off a shirt again and here again and again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every so time he visits. Already, it's like your shirt's already wet. Why the fuck does it matter? Yeah, nope. Take it off. Yeah. You've been having sex with them girls or something. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but. Uh, Here's how you pay more respect to, to Clark and to Superman. Martha, in this version, visits Clark's grave. Uh, you know, you can feel the loss of Superman a little bit better here. Uh, you know, they still use some of the imagery of Superman's grave and then the world, uh, you know, doing the black uh, Superman flag and stuff. So that was really good. Um, and then basically, uh, Batman tries to talk to Aquaman. Basically, you know, he knows he's Aquaman, but he's just pretending and he basically says no, comes back. We get way more Alfred in this version. So. Alfred, he's like, God, couldn't Aquaman choose, I don't know, the Caribbean or something? <laughs> Why does he have to choose, like, way out here in the cold? Uh, so I thought, you know, there's a few good jokes, you know, from, from that stuff. Um, but then... Uh, Lois's uh, coffee scene. I just hated the music Which one? here. It's I know, right? There's this magical music where she uh, visits uh, Superman's grave, uh, and I think better respect was paid to him, and greater, you know, the greater effect of, of his death is there. But um, she doesn't have the line where it makes you think that she cheated on him, like in Joss Whedon's version, where she she's holding him. She says, "I wasn't strong" or something, and everyone was wondering, <laughs> like, what what does that mean? Yeah, like, but there is another tease <laughs> to something. Something that else. Zach was going to set up, yeah. and we'll, we'll talk about that later. I, I noticed you noticed it. But the terrorists, you remember the terrorist scene with Wonder Woman, far superior in the in Zack Snyder's version. The terrorist motives are a bit more clear. They're a bit more sinister. Yeah. They just want to fuck shit up. And her Wonder Woman fight is a different fight. She's way cooler. She fucking kills a dude. She And then after she's done killing the motherfucker, like she the hits him walk, and though. knocks it. Like It's a fucking explosion. Yeah. That dude is dead. It's like, you fucking shoot kids, I'm going to kill your ass. And I like that Wonder Woman from the comics. Yep. I don't think Patty would have done that. I like that Zach is like, no, I'm killing this fucking guy. And then after that, she turns around and she consoles the children. So she's still got that gentle side to her. And Sorry I, I made you watch me murder that dude. <laughs> right. oh, that's just jokes. <laughs> Way more personable. And then and the, and the little girls looking up, little girls wanting their own Superman and their own, you know, seeing themselves in the superhero. She's like, you can be anything you want to be. That shit yeah, makes me she's so got blood fucking Happy. Wow. That guy's skin stuck to the wall. I want to be like you. 
the it's our comedy relief section. <laughs> Come on. It is very funny. I she like murdered I like all of those she, people. She for those kids. Fuck. But we just said we all liked it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it's the truth. But we want to make it funny for you guys. <laughs> so amazing. this is. But this is the real Wonder Woman. Yeah. This is the real yeah. Wonder, Wonder Woman. It. Well, I yeah. She it. should be a little taller. And maybe. So that's easier, why. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was thinking nine at some point. At some point, these were. This film was a ten at some points for me and nines. So then we go to the island and the Amazons initiate the fight. I hate it in the Whedon's version. The boom tube comes down and the fucking parademons come out and start slaughtering the Amazons. No, in this one, the Amazons fucking start start a fight with the parademons and they seem to be kicking some ass, but then eventually they're overwhelmed. So mm-hmm. this fight was way better, way yep. like all these stunt women and action sequences. Way better. Fuck, am I about to change my rating to nine? I don't know. It's just the action is so good. Yeah. Anyway, so then there, it's way, it, it, you know, the the horror in sealing in her own Amazonian warriors is way more apparent here. You can see in her face and in her actions that she shows way more concern for her fellow warriors. And the Whedon version is like, but the, but, but, okay, shut everything down. It's like, fuck them. <laughs> Let's go. And like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, right. But no, in this one, it's like different levels. And in fact, the whole temple falls off the goddamn cliff and it's like, it's like, man, it's just, oh, shit, and then here comes fucking parademons, and, I'm, and it's just way give better. Give it time to breathe. And I'm <laughs> glad that they kept that one blonde Amazonian chick that was like, did that really fucking sick-ass move to cr- grab those cube mm-hmm. and then throw it back as she was getting crushed. And they put in some more CGI with like a crackling yellow lightning when mm-hmm. she gets hit. I was like, damn, man, uh, MVP on her. Uh, but anyways, so but ultimately it was is for nothing because he gets his his cube, um, and I just think Steppenwolf looks more appropriate. Obviously, was teased in some of the promotional stuff yep. that was released on YouTube a long time ago with Lex Luthor, uh, yeah. and so he looks a lot. I know every time I mention uh, Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor, we need to have a thing of Jolly Ranchers here. And yeah, he was. Think of Chase <laughs> fight was awesome. More context to him choosing a nuclear area in Russia. It's like, why did we go to Russia? Why are we in this nuclear area? Well, it's like. He's like, mm, good, toxic. You know, he's like blessing the humans for doing that kind of bullshit. And he's like, uh, but he's constantly referring to Dark Side. And I like that. <laughs> Dark Side will be pleased. This world will fall like the rest. I will conquer this world just like in the comics. He's trying to get back in his good graces. Yep. <laughs> Again, way more Batman, <laughs> Alfred stuff. Uh, they, you know, uh, Batman is giving more context to why he's so driven because he spent time dividing us. And now I'm going to spend time uniting us. So I like that line. Mm-hmm. The janitor in the Star Labs gets way more in this version. Uh, he's the one that finds a parademon. You get this little horror scene where he finds a parademon. I, I like seeing different aspects of those parademons a little better. Um, although I did like the Batman. You remember in John Whedon's version, the opening where Batman finds a parademon and he's like with the criminal? Oh, yeah. It was stupid because he's like, Alfred, my name is Bruce Wayne, and we, we have an invasion coming in. And it's like, you're the Criminals right there. Yeah. You're revealing to him, so that's gone. You got in this it, Miss Wayne. Yeah, I, <laughs> that that part is gone, and it wasn't particularly well done. I did want more from Bruce Wayne, Batman, and this. As far as you know, I think they toned. There was a lot of they they improved some things, but I want more of the the leader, the great, the great yes. detective. I want more of that in here because. Batman has no purpose in Justice League because he's a fucking dude who's rich and he's that's nuts. That's a superpower. And, and that's a superpower, right? But <laughs> what gives him purpose is he's the he's a strategist, detective. right? Detective. He's yes. the greatest detective. And I feel here that, again, Didn't he happen. takes a backseat to Alfred, which is something they keep doing. And they need to stop <laughs> making Alfred smarter than fucking Batman. They need to stop bringing Alfred in and making him a character because, oh, Alfred, everybody loves Alfred. It's like, no, we love Batman, okay? If you would have removed all the, the Alfred stuff, you would have had the detective. Detective Batman. He's like, hey, well, who's Barry Allen? So much. Who's Barry Allen? He's like, Alfred's like, oh, this is. And Barry that's what Allen. I said like, in Whedon's version. Batman is way more of a like smart, already has the plans kind of detective than he is here. You know, he's constantly leaning on other people for it, and that's <coughs> fine. But I like that Batman that's always he got the answers because that's his power. Though. Yeah, that, his power <laughs> isn't I'm rich, and in this movie, and it's nuts. I'm rich. And I bring us together, and I'm the one that found y'all. Well, he no, did have this I got the motherfucking line. Plan. line. He's like, well, oh, that's incredible. He's like, yeah, Wayne. It was Wayne's idea. It's Wayne's idea. That's yeah. Yeah, I guess. So uh, you, get more <laughs> do- you get way more of Cyborg's father, the doctor, uh, at the Star Labs. He took uh, the mother box, basically, before to help his son, uh, revive his son. And then he's got the Superman ship, and he gives context to Star Labs of... 
this film gives context to Star Labs, who they are, what they do, why there's a ship with, you know, in there and the military's not doing it. It's the Star Labs. Um, and it's basically the sketch that they find of the parademons. It doesn't come from some kid on a TV show. It comes from the janitor. It looks like it was still dri- driven. Yeah. Like, and it looks like Batman. It, it's terrible. It still looks like Give it's driven the best, by uh, a kid. A uh, sketcher. Like, well, well, wouldn't, they're, they're wouldn't the like, sketcher be the police sketcher and not the goddamn janitor? <laughs> this is what you're going to get if, if it was he's not terrible. an artist. It he's not terrible. an artist. <laughs> Anyways, I love that they expanded on the... Uh, you could tell Zack Snyder's 300 influences in this a lot because he put a lot more into Themyscira and the Amazonians' uh, culture because we get this arrow, you know, where they, they light it and they actually have the ceremony for firing the arrow when we see that briefly in the other film, it's like, oh, there's a fire on TV, and oh, Wonder Woman knows. No, there's a ceremony goes on, and then Wonder Woman gets this arrow that they fired. Context. She Great. way more context. She goes down in the ruins. You get a little Tomb Raider stuff. You get a little the images, and boom! First time we see Dark Side, and when you see him on that wall, it's like, yeah, that's Dark Side. That it was ominous. Unfortunately, when you see him in CGI in the first flashback, because they do the same flashback, right? But the flashback isn't led by Steppenwolf, it's Darkseid. It's just, I like the whole, you know, where folded arms Darkseid, and he's mm. just so goddamn powerful and cocky, he's barely going to lift a finger to do anything. It's 5,000 years ago. Right. So fine. And, the, and that, that mustache but he on doesn't even, He doesn't say a goddamn oh, word. He's yeah. just uh, it was grunting. Pec- he's too grunty. He needs to be more the, intel- uh, the intelligent uh, dark side one. Anyways, Aquaman uh, saves the, a dude. Um, a weird thing I notice. he's like, give me a whiskey, and one for him too. In this version, he's like, give me a whiskey. Doesn't order the guy a whiskey. He's like, you need to respect the storm. So they make Aquaman more serious in this. And you could tell that Joss Whedon was trying to lighten Aquaman and make him more likable. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think they did him kind of dirty in this movie. I think everyone improved. Except but for Aquaman. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Instead of a wash, I think it might be a little I th- bit Oh, I think, I think because if they lift everyone up and they left, and left him down, there was not a scene where I felt like he was a fucking badass. And no. everyone else kind of got their badass mm-hmm. scenes. And I don't think I can he, think of one scene where he at, fucking skewers the yeah, parademons. But, but those are those are throwaway bat like Batman okay. kills. How f- about when he fucking murders Steppenwolf? Well, he yeah. he that's kills that's Steppenwolf. The Steppenwolf end, got though, pounded into the dirt like, by the most like powerful Superman shit. at for ten plus minutes. You can see the shockwaves coming from his body. <laughs> he lasered half of his head off his body, and then he stabs him in the back. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm not giving that one to Aquaman there. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. He's got he, a point. He was just there. He was just like, I'm gonna hold. Oh, him well, then you're not you're not gonna give credit to Wonder Woman or uh, uh, Aquaman. Then that's not fair. I think they improved her though. She got better. She got improved action scenes like yeah. the, against the terrorists. Yeah. Aquaman didn't. Yeah. Uh, it, what Aquaman does get, he does early on. Like chapters one through four fly by for me. I really was engrossed <laughs> in chapter one through four. Then we got a little little bit of a bump four five, and then we got back in at six seven with with all the action. Uh, and I, it could be that Aquaman is 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 fleshed out. There's a kingdom, uh, you know. There's way more stuff about him grappling with being a king. Mm-hmm. And they even have a song. There's like this song where you're a king or something like that. I just can't and, wait to uh, king. <laughs> William Defoe gets his cameo. Yeah. That's one thing that was completely cut uh, from Whedon's version. And William Defoe's here. He looks good. I like him. He looks like an Atlantean. You know, got the long hair, and he's just basically you need to take up the mantle as, as king. That kind of stuff. And that's a little preview to uh, uh, the when we see him next. Um, and then we get Desaad. Uh, I didn't expect Desaad. Desaad is called on, so Steppenwolf calls back home. And we learn that Steppenwolf's motivation is that he betrayed Darkseid at one point, and his penance is conquering 50,000 wor- worlds. And he's like, he's but fucked. God damn, that's a lot. Right. <laughs> and uh, for his glory, Darkseid. But then he realizes this world is the one world that fought back against Darkseid. He's like, if I conquer this, then, <clears throat> then it'll work. So that works there. Uh, Wonder Woman visits Batman for the flashback. The fl- flashback is way cooler here. The gods, the old gods get more. I love the idea of the old gods and the new gods. And so we get to see more old god stuff. We get Snyder's 
Green Lantern. He's kind of like a, a you know an alien monkey kind of guy. He's like that Green Lantern wasn't my Green Lantern. Like it, Whedon's version, they changed him. But this Green Lantern, Dark Side fucking kills him. He's interested in the ring, but he can't have it because you know it's not the heart for it. But Dark Side, I love this one. It's uh, it's just he's. But the only thing is for Dark Side, he's defeated rather easily. But that's just to set up his shame of the fact that this was the only world to defy him. The old gods, well, when you combine the old gods, which are fucking Everyone gods. Came together. <laughs> yeah, it was Ar- Green Lantern, well, only a single Green Lantern. It would have been awesome if it was a ton of Green Lanterns in the sector. And then the three tribes, those together got yeah. pushed, pushed him back. So I'm willing to accept it in that way. It's just I wish he had more of that cockiness. How did him. he lose that planet? He's like, look. Mark that one. Fuck that planet. Fuck that planet. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he got dragged off the planet unconscious. Well, the that. thing is, they're fucking gods. And you see Zeus. Here's the yeah. thing. I love that. You know, I noticed this when I was watching Weedon's World. I was like, holy shit. That's Wonder Woman's dad. We've seen Wonder Woman's dad in the theaters. You just don't know. You, you didn't. It didn't click. So anyway, Zeus is like, fuck that. And he fucking hits Darkseid. And Darkseid is hurt like a mother. He's like, holy shit. So I think it's like Darkseid's not quite on the new god level. He is a new god, but he's not, you know. He's just getting his ass kicked, and, and he well, Ares is there too with his glorious full mustache hitting him with the axe. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> Ares is there. Yeah, but he doesn't look the shitty Ares. He looks like a badass here. Oh, you didn't he's, like the way he's, he looks? He's I like, like they bulked look. him up because he's 100 percent CG, right? But I it's like still based movie. off the guy. That but is Ares. That's yeah. what he should have looked yeah. like in Wonder Woman. He wouldn't have been goofy. I know. I agree. <laughs> All right. That's why I say this scene was so good. Yes. Um, then we get the new Flash scene. Here is the only thing in the film that I felt straight. Did not work. If I was the editor, I'd be like, cut this, bro. This is this is awful. He's going to grope a woman while he stops time? Yep. yep. What? No, one, a, well, no one can fucking drive in, no in, one in, in this in universe. This, yeah. Hey, They're horrible. Uh, wear so your seatbelts, and if you drop something, uh, don't put your so head... Your, so a guy drops a burger. Fucking so he burger. notices... <laughs> uh, what's her name? Uh, fuck, his love interest... Uh, she, he, a guy drops a burger and she's like looking at him because she's like, wow, this guy's hot. And then she's driving the car and then she gets into an accident. Well, she's and then, looking at him too. Yeah, it's and like, she's driving. It's like, what the, the fuck, fuck are you doing? doing? You're right, exactly. Nobody can drive. <laughs> and, but but here's the weird thing. Then a love song starts to play and we're like, what? Yeah. And and so and then as he runs out there, it's a cool scene when he breaks through the glass and everything. And his banter with trying to get this dog grooming job is so awkward, and I yep. don't like him. I'm like, either. no, fire him. Don't hire that guy. Anyways, he breaks the thing, but he like kind of caresses yeah, her he while is. she's He's touching her face. To and realize she is about to die in the most gory fashion. Her life is flashing before her eyes, and you're fucking touching her in a pro. Like, no. And then he grabs like a sausage next to her face. I'm like, oh it's my like, it's like- I'm like, oh my God, what are we doing? Yeah. But he saves that sausage for later uh, to feed to the dog so he can get the job. But anyways, it was just really awkward. And it, and Zach was like, he must have thought, oh, this is so, you know, romantic. I'm like, Zach, bro, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't man. work, man. Did I you not talk with Deborah, uh, Deborah Snyder on this yeah. one? Anyways, it was the only thing. So awkward, didn't work. Uh, Steppenwolf... Uh, you know, uses the spider in this version to get what he wants. I hated it. You know, like I, I, I hate I hate doodads that have doodads. Impl- imp- implications later on. So the the guy he has a doodad. He has a spider that lands on your face and he can suck your memories out and show you it's exactly what he wants. Tell you. But oh, but then no. he also oh, fuck, I told you he has th- he has. There's a large part of the movie where he's interrogating people. It's like get the fucking spider. Why yeah. would you interrogate anyone ever? Just put the spider on their face and then it's done. We don't need this whole other thing. Yeah, it's a spider, everyone. Pontific. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. You know, being uh, dumb. Yeah, dumb, but <laughs> cocky about it. Yeah, but if you have the doodad, use, use the doodad. It. There was just no reason for him to use, use the doodad. Like, it's so much easier for him to be the bad guy and torture someone. He slams a dude into a rock. And then Atlantean guard. So we get to see more of the guards. Yeah, he cool. slams his head into a rock. He's Blood bleeding everywhere. everywhere. He's about I'm to like, die. Oh, shit. And he's like, I'll never betray you. And if he had just, like, started breaking, like, hurting him more, he's like, fine, I'll tell you. That's a better thing than I've got this spider doodad. And yeah. it's gonna. I kept thinking to myself, <laughs> it's like, man, I got cut out of Justice League. And then these actors that get their little 
moments like this Atlantean yeah. guard. He's like, yeah, back in. Yeah. Thank you so much, fans of like, Zack Snyder. He's like, it wasn't me. It was a spider. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so then Lois, there's another scene with Lois with Superman's cape. Uh, we get, uh, and then we go to Batman and Wonder Woman putting well, the team together. Yeah, let's talk about the, well, I don't not know. Not yet, it's not yet. Okay. Uh, the, they touch the mouse together, they have the little bit of banter, and then, then we get the full cyborg stuff. I loved it. Football game, man. They did a tons of slow-mo, they show his mother. I didn't expect Cyborg's mother to be a part of this. She can't drive either. <laughs> she, she can't drive either. Like Everybody <laughs> sucks at driving Joe Hey, Puck. how's it going, guys? It's like, you're fucking driving. It's Stop snowing outside at, at the fucking <laughs> road. There's snow on the road, lady. Uh. So it, his, he's such a fucking good person that yeah. he helps kids that are failing in school. <laughs> and uh, while he's winning football games in the coolest way as the quarterback, and his mom is talking with the dean, it's like, nah, we want to get rid of him, fuck him. And she's like, yeah, well, he was just helping kids. What were you doing? That girl, her parents died, and she couldn't do complete her work, and he was helping her by you know, hacking in there and cheating for her. And what did you do to help? You know, And that kind take of stuff. Money. So I liked all that <laughs> shit. Exactly. Take, take yeah. the fucking tuition. Yeah, there's a cyborg movie hidden inside <laughs> the Justice League movie. And so the father said, his son so it was uh the you know so they get into that car accident the wife dies the father saves him cyborg is really awesome and that endeared me to cyborg and mm -hmm. i like that yeah. and uh so and then we get a scene of cyborg trying his powers out we didn't really get that we got the uh, you know uh shortened version in the weed is like i could do this now <laughs> and he does a little hop in this one he's actually trying he even gets his own superman flight scene where he's like learning how to do it um i liked it uh it's still cgi visuals awkward yeah. and in this I version like he gets it, the four but... arms i don't like the four arms but it's too cgi too fakey but how are you gonna do it i mean it's cyborg in, in this transformers uh, yeah, version I, of I, cyborg i don't like the transformer yeah, yeah i don't like that either yeah, i like the uh, tnt <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> anyways he, he uses his face mask more in here um uh -huh. And they, they really expanded. This scene was unnecessarily long, but I still liked it because it made me like Cyborg. He finds this uh, poor mother, Linda Reed, who is poor, single mother, is just hard on times. Worst day ever. While uh, they're really explaining Cyborg's powers and how powerful he is, he's basically Cyborg uh, can give any money to anybody he wants, and so he kind of like triples her money. And like, he's basically Google. Don't fuck with Google. Yeah, yeah. Google. Don't, fuck, don't fuck with Google. And <laughs> yeah. He gives her hundred thousand dollars, and and I was like, man, Cyborg's just so cool. And then his father's. Goes and explains even more. You see all these fucking nukes? He, he's like holding 200 nukes in this visual representation. He's like, you could fire them all right now if you wanted. You know, so his thing, and that made me like Cyborg and respect him more because it's like Cyborg has these powers, and his thing is, man, I, I get to use these powers. No, his thing is, man, I have to try not to use the powers. Mm -hmm. So I like that kind of dichotomy. Great there. temptation, man. Oh, so that's why Cyborg was My bank account is one million dollars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like pull up all the mobs' bank accounts, empty them. The put them flash in. interactions with his father were worse in this version than they were in the Whedon's version. They didn't really work that well. Uh, Batman then recruits him. That scene is completely the same. It works perfectly. I liked it. It endeared me towards him. Uh, and that's when he says, "I'm rich." Uh, bitch. <laughs> and then we get uh, Alfred. More Alfred. A lot of Alfred. So I'm with Alex that we probably could have cut the Alfred <laughs> character and made made it more Batman. So Alfred with, um, uh, w with Wonder Woman... Uh, there's Alfred and Wonder Woman scenes where Alfred's trying to like butler. He's for mansplaining her. tea. He's right? mansplaining tea. I so guess. Like, I've been alive five thousand years. I think I know how to make a cup no, of tea. It, no, it's just, <laughs> yeah, I know, but he he can't help it. He's he's a butler, so he's trying to. She comments, mm -hmm. and I liked it because they're all like, I'm I'm creating this thing where I'm like uh, for Batman, where it like absorbs all the energy on his gauntlets, and she's like, Yeah, when are you gonna make the lasso? You guys are ripping me off, mm -hmm. but in the funniest way, in a nice way, and I like that banter. It was cool. Make it black she says in black <laughs> yeah cyborg uh contacts wonder woman uh, i like the whedon's version where like the screen is talking to her and this one is just like go here and she's like okay i'll go yeah there. that one was done i i like the whedon version but anyway so she meets her that scene is exactly the same uh but cyborg uh visits uh his mother's grave and he buries the mother box so they make it way more clear where that third mother box is it's the human mother box it's with cyborg <coughs> the human tribes mother box uh star labs has more uh you know superman connection here uh the ship is like they say about this the hottest thing on the planet this 
that it can generate. It bombards heat. it with X-rays and it absorbs the heat. Mm-hmm. Becomes the hottest thing on the planet. They're like, oh, that's what cool alien metal does when you do it. And yeah, they, and, and then it, that's when a parademon captures his father. We actually see that he doesn't just show up at the nuclear, so he gets captured, and you see it in more detail. Um, and then we get a little little bit with Gordon, where Batman is implicated because that stupid poorly drawn picture, and he's like, no, it's not Batman. Look, I'll go talk to him right now. And then I like this little setup where Batman like falls down and but then they're all here and he's like there's more of you like how many of them are you and there's not enough i like that scene it was good and then flash being like oh they left yeah Yeah, that's It's a good thing that gordon was in a coma in 1984 and (laughs) didn't recognize the wonder woman that was there because you know yeah Uh, (laughs) anyway so atlantis then we get the scene where atlantis is dumb as fuck probably because ocean master's in charge or whatever and he won't provide guards and you know they actually talk underwater here that (laughs) And you didn't see that in the originals. So then that kind of gives reason why they create the bubbles. So, so she, they have a different language when they talk underwater. They sound like fish or uh, dolphins. But then Mara, uh, she's in the film, which we no longer... She's recast. In fact, there's rumors it's um, Amelia, Clark, Amelia yeah. Clark now. Good. But yeah. Uh, but she actually... Her character gives a good fight to... Um, a Steppenwolf at one point almost killing him. She's like pulling all the she blood water. bends him. Fucking that was so awesome. I love. She's it. like ripping. You can see the water. She's extracting the water from like his eyes and his nasal passage, mm-hmm. and then the blood starts to come. I was like that is awesome. And then I like those and, scenes. Yeah, I like those. Aquaman shows up to it just as he's about to hit her with the axe because he gets an upper hand, and Aquaman shows up, and then ultimately uh, they they fail. He gets the mother box, and she says, "Look." You know, your mother, and he's like, don't talk about it. Like, I don't care about my mother. She left me. He's like, no, your mother sacrificed a lot for you and making him realize that his mother's a good person. We see that in Aquaman 2, mm-hmm. which I love that <coughs> scene in Aquaman 2, but it, or Aquaman 1. And uh, she's like, it's your responsibility because it would have been your mother's responsibility. So that gives Aquaman more of a purpose to come back and, and help them. Um, <clears throat> so then he, he has two boxes and he creates the defensive bubble. And then the Whedon version is three boxes to convent the bubble. So just little, little differences here and there. And then they go to the striker Island attack. So we get another action scene. And again, more context done way better here. Uh, you know, cyborg sees, uh, their, his father, um, and in in the Whedon version, he sees his father and he attacks, but it wasn't like the emotional, like get away from my father here but here it's here he rips the fucking thing he's like get away from my father and stuff so i was like yes this makes more sense Mm -hmm. um but in this version steppenwolf doesn't say ah you were born from it right he doesn't he doesn't talk like that there's no connection whatsoever we get you know that that stuff later um so anyway so the one there's one box missing he's got two boxes uh flash has less to do though in this one that was another small little bit in the whedon version that i like better where flash is like look I've never actually fought before. And I don't know whether they were fixing a plot hole or something, like maybe for the Flash movie that he's fought. But he's like, I haven't fought yet. And Batman's like, just save one. I fucking love that. Yeah, he's like, in the original. Yeah, sure. he was like, just save one. He's like, what? He's just, just save one. And he's like, okay, and then what? And he's like, you'll know what to do. And that like gives him the motivation. Yeah. He's got one. He's like, okay, I'm going to get another. And he goes to get another. But here he's like... Kind of like running around, hey, like, and touch like, a sword. Hurry. <laughs> right, yeah, hey, yeah. hurry. And Aquaman's like, get the fuck away from me, you know? And so, so it's a little weird there. But later he gets his shit. Mm-hmm. So maybe they're just setting up that right now he feels useless, but later he's better. So Batman uses that Nightcrawler. Flash uses the power to prevent uh, debris. So he does get a little bit. So an additional scene where Flash is going, pop, 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 pop. I'm like, oh, my eyes. But he's like <laughs> grabbing all the rocks before they hit the people. So he does have his, his shit. Um... One thing is weird though when when they're in the uh you know under the water in in like a subway and they're fighting Steppenwolf and there's more action better action with Wonder Woman they don't have the awkward scene where Flash saves Diana and he like falls on her butt and he's like hey, you know they they don't do that mm. they they take that scene more seriously but they kind of misstepped a little bit because Diana's sitting there staring at all the water coming towards her. And Cyborg has to be like, Diana! And then Diana's like, oh, oh, yeah. And oh, yeah, water like, bad. Like, oh, yeah, so why the like, fuck do you need like, to be told to get into the goddamn then, Nightcrawler? Yeah, but then I thought, I was like, oh, maybe she saw Aquaman because you see his face. Yeah. Right. So maybe. Oh, but he, you think I was like, that's what do you know? She's just like, no, you can see him clearly because he, uh, he well, came no, out of the water, then used Before. Before. Yeah, that, that scene was just too long, regardless yeah, yeah. of her just sitting there yeah, staring. Yeah, it was. 
It's like you're about to die. Yeah. Um, and then we get the the mother flashback. It's here on this world, and I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense. Is this out of awkward? Is this uh, a scene that Zach put in here and forgot to edit? But no, it makes sense because he's like. Steppenwolf is reliving the flashback of Darkseid, and you know Darkseid slams the ground and creates this 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 uh, glyph, and he's like, "It's here on this world," and I was like, "Yeah, you you, you know the fucking mother boxes are here," but later on it's revealed that's not what he's talking about. He was talking about the anti life equation, <laughs> um, so that made sense. Cyborg uh, can talk to machines. He's asked by Aquaman who talks to him. so instead of Batman in Whedon's version, be like, "Can you talk to fish? Look, can you like put out a feeler?" And talk to he's like what? And here it's Aquaman. Like, hey, do you like talk to machines? This machine's talking to you. This this uh, Batman's new flying machine wants to fly. This is okay, cool. Um, anyways, uh, but when when they're talking in Batman's Batcave, they spent a lot of money to do this World War II flashback. That's completely unnecessary. You got like World oh, War II yeah. and Nazis and stuff. <clears throat> and Cyborg is explaining how they found the last box, his origin. And the idea to resurrect Superman. And that was the one trailer scene that I was like, is that Supergirl? You know, because they had teased that in Man of Steel a long time ago, this dead person. And they even show that here, too. There's a dead person in the Kryptonian thing, and one of the things is open. Mm -hmm. So maybe she's out there somewhere. Uh, but anyways, here it's, you know... Uh, explain so and then martha visits lois she explains like she lost the farm and and it's a little more clear that you know lois hasn't worked and since clark has died she she's lost her purpose but it was a ruse it was a ruse uh that's where it started to lose a little bit of steam for me uh because uh, outside of the door and i was head scratching like outside of the door there's somebody listening in and it's martian manhunter and we're like wait what like, why is this? Uh, th what, what's the purpose of this? Uh, the world will Martha need you too, hurt. Lois. You know, yeah. So, Martian Manhunter turns into Martha to trick Lois into going back to work, then turns back into the Colonel. I was like, what the? And fuck what a are weird you doing? way to introduce like a really important fucking character. Martian Manhunter's like Lois. The world needs you. I was like, motherfucker, they need you. Yeah, you are like Go almost as powerful as Superman. Justice League. What the fuck are you doing? And he wants Tell to Lois. help by doing this kind of weird like listening. I'm gonna turn into your mother-in-law and, and trick and you well, into no, going to work. That was him. It was Martian yep. Manhunter. Martian Manhunter was Martha. Was Martha? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is, why are you using your powers in that way and not fucking yeah. fighting? And, and, and <laughs> yeah, I was like, up? what are you oh, doing? Too much fire. Where are you? There's too much I'm fire saying. around, like fire bad. Hey, fire bad. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so <laughs> they explain how the mother the mother boxes didn't call out because they were afraid of Superman because Superman was alive. And I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, but they, they went back and forth a lot of times as far as like what Cyborg does with machines. And he's like, no, 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 the mother boxes aren't good. They're not evil. They're, they're, they're beacons of change. And then, then he's like, they don't think like that, except for when they but do think about but then Superman. they're scared of Superman, and then they're not afraid yeah. of Superman, yeah. and then when he's interacting with them, they're evil things, and it's just like, yeah. you can tell that when they said what what he had to work with as far as cutting this thing together did not make a whole lot of sense compared to what his what he's saying. The is grave happening. digging scene is different in the Whedon version. It's just it's just a bro moment between uh, you know Cyborg and Flash, but in this one, they actually all go to the grave, and you see them off screen. Mm -hmm. Aquaman and Wonder Woman are having uh, a little banter, and the, they realize that the Atlanteans and the um, Amazonians have a common saying, so trying to create links, trying to create team chemistry, but it didn't really work. Yeah, it's like, the, I didn't the buy that. I, why would he ever hate it? He probably didn't know Amazons existed. Well, they fought. They've had a war. Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't know. He, he's a fucking yeah. dude. Yeah, but he probably <laughs> has known about the history, so a little distrustful. Same with her. Uh, it, Batman and Alfred can't get the ship working. Uh, then there's jokes that don't land as well as Joss says here, like... Uh, Cyborg goes, I'm always dressed. And it's like supposed to be super funny because he takes his clothes off and mm -hmm. he's a machine. He's got the suit. <laughs> and, then, and then there's this another thing. Do you, do, do, you, do you like option A or option B? Flash is like putting military hats on and Aquaman's like, like Aquaman is like acting out of character. He's like, yeah, no, I like this one. And it's like, what? Is that supposed to be funny? I, I guess. Uh, see, these are the jokes we said that didn't really work. Then there was um, a false alarm is noticed by, you know, uh, the uh, cyborg's father. But then he sees them come through and he's like, all right. And he has a moment with his son. He's like, I see what you guys are doing. And that resurrect, but that resurrection scene where the resurrecting Superman is exactly the same as it was in, in Whedon's version. I was trying to blame Whedon for that, but it's actually Zach's thing. So that, that was just, it was always going to be resurrected like that. Um, 
and uh, but it's broken up by Lois in bed. And this is where we notice something really weird. And this, I think, was yeah, teasing was like, what? as what we might see in part two of Justice League part two, where there's a pregnancy test. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. It's like, why would she have a pregnancy test if she Well, like, dead? it holds on it. Like, she picks up her badge, and then it holds on it. It's like, yeah. oh, pregnancy test. So, so either they're implying that they're Superman's son storyline, or they're implying the rumors that we heard where Zack wanted to do this thing where it's like... Lois and Batman had a thing while Superman was out or something like that. Oh, trying to was that a rumor? Superman. That was a rumor. Oh, I would yeah. thought it was just she was going to be pregnant with his child. She's going to die. That starts in justice. That's why he freaks out. Yeah. Well, no, that you're you're right. That is exactly what it is. But I was wondering if if that was tied to what they were talking about this relationship between Lois. I think that just threw me off. That is actually what it is, Alex. It's like, what a cheating. Because not only because like, then Batman's an asshole too. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but that's what I was worried about. You remember there was times where Zach was talk, having stuff about Batman rape and prison and all this weird shit. Every once in a s- while, Zach will do this weird thing, and you're like, why are you doing that? So Look, that's why I was worried. We on praised that. him a lot. But I want to remind everybody that he also is the person who ruined Lex Luthor, Jolly Ranchers, and the word Martha. So <laughs> yeah. he got he does a lot of really cool I things like that I Martha. like. But, I know you ate it, but I uh, like the that Martha movie scene. was fucking terrible. And there was very few yep. scenes in that movie that were salvageable. And he also makes jokes in this movie about Joker giving reach arounds to Batman. And <laughs> yeah, that comes he had to he had to get that in there. It's like what the I, fuck? I, Why? Yep. Uh, when activating because he's a more edgy <laughs> version of Joker. Okay. Okay. Uh, when activating the box, the, the you know the, the he Superman. Is is in this black suit. He's or uh, uh, they he sees visions of Superman being evil in the black suit, um, and under Darkseid's control. So that's what we were headed towards. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how Darkseid is going to control him because he was resurrected by a mother box, and I think Darkseid would just be like, you know, flip that mm-hmm. switch and Superman, and then they and then Justice League Part Two would be. How do we get Superman to join us? And then at the end, he would join them, and it would be great again, and I would get the Superman that I like, right? I would have to deal with the injustice, evil Superman, and I would have to worry that Zack wouldn't take it too far and have it. Superman do something too far, and I'm pretty sure Zack would have took it yeah, too far. Yeah, global genocide is a hard pit to claw, claw your way out of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, but, like, what? <laughs> yeah, but then we get the Superman disoriented scene with extra footage. And me and Joe love that scene. That scene is like 10 out of 10, and we did it's 10 out of 10 here. They get some extra footage where the military and cops start shooting him, and he's like, get the fuck out of here. And Cyborg yeah. saves the civilians, though, luckily. And see, he's trying, he's pushing it. And then Batman shows up, and then so Superman's like going to charge Batman, but then like all the heroes have their individual thing where they're trying to stop Superman. He's like, get the Got we don't it. get the do you do you bleed uh, line that we from the right because that again all the mustaches have been fixed yeah. and do you bleed was a part of the mustaches and it was something that's yeah. it didn't really make sense for Superman because it's like hey you're just confused about who you are uh, well I guess it kind of still made sense because like he was responsible for his death and he remembers that line I'm gonna fuck you up but it was just it's gone. Um, and Steppenwolf doesn't get the box. Like in the last one, he just <laughs> gets the box. Yeah. While they're like, oh, we're like, wait, we didn't get to see that. But no, here it, it was because he had some trouble. <laughs> yeah, there was some some military, and his father had tried to hide the box, and his father took the box up there, and Steppenwolf was chasing. It's like, oh shit, man, how the fuck is his father gonna deal with Steppenwolf? And he locks himself in this thing, and it's like, oh, he's gonna destroy the box. But it and then these lasers go <laughs> everywhere, and his father is like destroy one side. He's like no, because he tries to go in there, stop. But he realizes his father sacrificed not to destroy the box, but to mark, mark the it. box, so they know exactly where to go. I don't remember how in the F- Whedon's version they know to go to Russia. Uh, they Probably because the family called them on the telephone. No, yeah, they they do the same satellite thing where it's like scan for the the doodads <laughs> and it's given off you know whatever rays or radiation. Yeah. So and then we go to part six, and that's when we get the farm thing here's where you get your superman so superman's really in uh last part of part five six and, and seven so the team dynamic to me it just doesn't it just started not to work as well nope. and then they meet alfred and then aquaman's like badass alfred you know he's like you're making shit and making stuff and then and and then and then the team is like we got to go fight him it's like that's a really hard person to fight he's like but he's never fought us when we're united and i'm like but that doesn't seem earned yet 
Mm-hmm. You didn't earn it. It didn't. Yet. Not at they're all. Like we're united, and then they're done. Da, 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 and unit. then people are suiting up, and <laughs> and it's fucking Superman is all happy it didn't now. Have the impact. Right. Mm-hmm. So Superman was on the farm. He got the ring, and he's like, I did like the fact that Superman is like, I got a second chance. I'm not wasting it. And he kisses Lois, and that's perfect. He's like, I'm gonna marry you. And so no, we we are getting a marry and a marriage thing, but. No, Zach's not. using it to no, set up no. injustice. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, so they all suit up. Superman just wears the black suit. It's not a part of his healing process as it was in the comics and stuff like that. He just, I guess, just grew Or they maybe it time. is a part of the healing process. I don't fucking know. They, they, they had four they hours. If, if it was, they would have told us. Right. So, yeah. so he comes out and, um, you know, Superman's also playing with butterflies. And I'd like to point that out that they're trying to make him jump to um, and fight after to, he destroys after everyone. He just, yeah, he tried to melt a bunch I of I love cops. that he destroyed everyone. This motherfucker Superman. I God like that it. scene. He gets shot with like a huge ass caliber. He just bounces off. He's like, "What the fuck? Fuck you!" <laughs> He's like, "Oh, you dead?" Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, flight is its nature. This is some of the more of the stuff where the banter and and the the dialogue for them. And fl- uh, flight is its nature. And then Batman's like, "Yours too." I was like, "What? Cyborg? Yeah, Cyborg can fly, but is it, is his nature to fly?" Also, the the the. The hunk of metal over there wants to fly. Like, right. I mean, and, and then Batman's all like, Faith, Alfred, Faith. And I'm like, that doesn't really seem like what Batman would say, but okay. It, Characters are slightly off. Yeah. Is what it's I'm like, saying. shouldn't he be saying hope? Like, isn't that a whole kind of thing? Ties he kept, it into he kept Superman. Saying, he, they said faith a bunch of times. It's like, I think you mean hope, right? Are yeah. you? Nope. Nope. So <laughs> all right. It's a little, and that might have been what made the studios, you know, nervous. And then, and then Whedon kind of understands maybe the team dynamic a little better because he has experience on Avengers, and that's why some of that kind of team dynamic worked a little bit better in Whedon's version. But it doesn't mean that Zach's version wasn't better in a lot of other areas. But there's just little unnecessary things like seeing the box come together from different. So when he finally gets the third box, he puts it all together, and then the different tribes across the world look up at the sky and they see the boxes are assembled like, oh, and no, we then failed. alfred's like drinking and he looks up and it's like well, it's not it's not necessary he's just patting he's like, yeah we're fucked <laughs> yeah right it's good scotch <laughs> yeah uh so then we but but uh, ultimately the the heroes have a different plan than what we saw in whedon's version in this version what was the plan the plan was that cyborg is going to link up with the boxes like he did before but then he's going to go inside the box He's gonna break through the firewall. Flat Flash it, has to touch him. Yeah, he's he, but he need, in order to break through the defenses of the box, you need to zap the shit out of it. Mm-hmm. And so we need the Flash to go as close to the speed of light as you as possible, and then zap him at the exact right moment so he can break through. Yeah. But of course, so uh, he gets shot. So he's so moving Superman, close to the well, speed of light, and then mm-hmm. he gets shot by a one gun. lucky parademon. Shot. Uh, one parademon who's been shooting him the whole fucking time, <laughs> and he may, gets a lucky shot. I don't like that. It's dumb. I do like the fact that Batman still does his plan where he's like, don't worry, I'm going to go fucking kill myself, yeah. right? And do your thing, right, team? But Wonder Woman does the right thing, comes and saves Batman. But I like how the team was all together here, right? So when you have that fucking Batmobile... In slow-mo in because slow-mo of Zack Snyder. And, and Z- you know, the parademons are crawling in on Batman and then he turns on the lights and then he starts shooting. I was like, that's ah, more Batman. That's nice. Comes out and he's shooting stuff. And this really, again, action scene, way better than what Whedon had. And so Whedon was like, I don't really care about the action. I care about I They turned on uh, Aquaman's yelling, right? Yeah, we didn't get yeah, any of that. He's a little less, but he does go woohoo at one point where he, you know he's like poster. my man, and then he throws him. He still gets the woohoo, but it's he's a little less, a <laughs> little less but why? Uh, amped up. Right, I like that version of him. Uh, that might have been one thing that we didn't got right on 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 Aquaman. So anyway, uh, basically, Superman goes to the ship, chooses his black suit. This you know, Superman is handled better. But anyway, that alien shoots Barry, which is like, wait, what? And and the team fails ultimately. Mm-hmm. Uh, Flash run. So what happens is. <clears throat> Because he was able to shoot Flash, Flash is hurt, and he's like, oh, just give me a little bit. And a, a fucking mother box opens up a portal so that Darkseid can come through, and they see Darkseid. I'm like, yes! Wow, you get to see Superman here. Superman, oh, I, how did I miss this? Superman shows up to the fight. You get a lot of Wonder Woman fight. You get a lot of, uh, you, you even get some cooperative team powers. I like that. Like mm-hmm. Aquaman and... Uh, Cyborg do this cooperative attack. I like that. And, and then Wonder Woman seems way more badass in fighting prowess than she was in the uh, Whedon version. And then she's about to get uh, you know, the upper hand against her. Superman shows up, helps out. 
He's fucking badass. Love him. Eye laser. Superman's not messing around. He's not like the kind Superman. He's like, I'm going I'm to take care of business right now. Mm-hmm. Fucking literally cuts the dude's head off. And he cuts his head <laughs> in half. Cuts, cuts his head. It's just his horn, but whatever. It's Superman. Yeah. Well, he was also, he was eye, he'd eye laser to knock away the armor and then would hit him so hard that the giant shockwave would go away and then the armor would come back and he'd eye laser to win and he just does it over and it's over. It's like, sweet. damn, like this guy is pissed. Yeah, yes. I like that. And, and I liked it because it's like, maybe there is a little bit of that darkness in him. Mm-hmm. He's wearing the black suit, mother box, resurrection. Is he right in the head or not and so i think i thought that they were gonna go with superman and they're like superman stop nope. right where wonder woman's like superman stop but wonder woman's got a smile on her face i'm like oh yes. that's what they yeah, get him yeah get his ass but anyway so then you get that whole opening it's like oh fuck you see uh, uh Desaad, you see dark side i think you see uh mother uh the uh what's her mother something she's like the, the old lady leader one, yeah. the old lady leader of the, the furies yeah. and um and it's like, oh, man, shit's going to go down. But I'm like, I know they're saving that for the sequel, so you can't really get that. Uh, anyway, they fail because one parademon shoots Barry. and As he's running faster he's than running the, faster. the projectile could possibly go. The Superman at the right... Superman and... Wait a minute. No, so they, it's they a little lose. confusing. They, they, they pull it apart. No, no, because they actually... No, they no, lose. They oh, lost. no, that was when... That, sorry. So they lose. And they, so the movie they is... But, but what happens? What is the... Where does the explosion come from, though? The box. The mother box? Yeah, the mother the box mother explodes, box. and the world ends, and everybody dies. Right. And then it cuts to Barry. And you even see Superman, like, falling apart. Yeah. and then But then it cuts to Barry, and he's like, I got to go faster than the speed of light. He explains it to himself. Exposition. Here's what I have to do. And then he does it. He runs so fast, he winds back time. So it's like mm-hmm. Superman and Superman 1 and he rotates the earth. So he does that, and Superman is put back together, and that gives them one more chance to then do it right. Yep. And then they do it right this time, and they pull it apart, and um, they win. Then they proceed to kick uh, Steppenwolf's ass well, they do once <laughs> again. Yeah, <laughs> so what happens, Joe? So they're whooping his ass, and then out of nowhere, Aquaman gets... He's ready, yeah, he's ready to kick some ass, but then... Then Aquaman just stabs him in the back and then kind of fucking kills him. Tosses him into the portal. But right before the portal, Wonder Woman gets another badass scene, chops his head off. Yeah, I love it. Sending Wonder a Woman. message to Darkseid. Fuck Bam. you. That's a real warrior's <laughs> message. Badass. Like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. I like that and one too. I love that so much. <laughs> and I don't think that, you know, this version of Wonder Woman we see in 84 would do that. But oh, who knows? No, but I was like, Anyway, that is we'll have well, to Dark see Side didn't care because he puts his foot oh, yeah, on his sure. skull and smashes Flashes it into it. the ground. It's like, ooh. Uh, I did then forget you get to stare down. I did forget <laughs> to tell uh, you all about Cyborg. He uh, inside the cube where he's supposed to go inside the cube. He sees his family again and stuff. He's like, nah, this is a fucking demon or whatever. Yeah. I thought it was going to be the mother because she had white hair, but no, it was like... No, the, this is the part where it's like he had explained earlier that these things aren't good, they're not evil, they're just ancient technology involved for change. They don't, they're not bad guys, they're not good guys. And it's like, this is clearly a fucking haunted evil box. I was thinking that might be just the warlocks that are, are, are a part of... Um, you know, uh, Dark Side's army. So maybe they were trying to, you know, influence it like that. But anyway, Aquaman kills. Wonder Woman cuts his head off, goes to Dark Side, and then the portal closes. And Dark Side's like, "Well, do we're gonna inv- we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. We'll invade." And then they show like his forces are vast, and they're walking. They're gonna prepare to invade Earth. Mm-hmm. Then we get the epilogue. Uh, where Cyborg fixes the recorder that his father left him, and he gets to like hear his father, and then. Um, we get the Lex Luthor one first, right? Yeah. Well, Which one? So, so ho- well, hold on. Uh, yeah. So, Father narrates. Uh, so, instead of Lois Lane narrating because she got her job back, it is uh, Cyborg's father narrating. Uh, we see a bat dozer, like bat just <laughs> yes. Batman just gives a tank. It looks out like of a panzer, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit! And then Aquaman's like, I want to go see my father and his movies. And Wonder Woman has the arrow, and you know she's. And then Flash is like running and smiling. By the way, Flash is running is still fucked up. Like I don't like the way he runs. <laughs> the Quap Simulator, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, but but then we get the Legion of Doom teaser. The Legion of Doom teaser is still there, but it's not Legion of Doom. It's completely reworked. So you still get, you know, d- uh, Deathstroke meeting Lex Luthor on his boat. And I thought that never really worked at all. It's like, why are we doing Legion here when you've got Dark Side? You're going to have to do Dark Side and Legion. You're just rushing things. So it's like we, Josh Whedon was just trying to do his own little thing, knowing it probably never pay off. But here, this one, I like the scene way better. Joe gets more to do as Deathstroke, and it's the, it's like... 
It's not the Legion of Doom. It was the Batman name reveal. So he's like, here's the little... He's better not be wasting my time. And he's like, shouldn't we have a league of our own? No, he doesn't say that. He says, Batman is Bruce Wayne. And he's like... Mm, Let's celebrate then. <laughs> that's... that. Now you've got me intrigued. And that sets Deathstroke... I want so badly to see a Batman vs. Deathstroke film because, yeah. like, we know the games. The game Batman when when Batman went up against Deathstroke is so awesome. If they can make it as good as Rocksteady made it, then then it would be <laughs> fucking oh, sweet. I love that so much. That but, is the only thing I liked about Batman v Superman was that that Batman fight sequence in that warehouse was yeah. incredible. And if if we got a whole movie of that, yeah, it'd been so good. And that's the that that's the film. I, I rewound all the way to the end to see if there was no, anything. No. Oh no! Okay, There's sorry. five why minutes would I, of why would I garbage. Yeah, so this is the new. Go ahead and talk about this. Go the ahead. big big reveal. Uh, right? Zach is teasing his delusions. Yeah. So he wants to make. So he he's left all of these threads. Uh, he's like, well, we could do this. We could do this. And then he expands on the dream that Batman had. So the world looks to be a wasteland. Superman is, uh, you know, the, he's he's the <laughs> Hitler Superman. And they're walking through. It's Mara. It's Deathstroke. It's Super. Uh, it's Batman. Cyborg. Cyborg Flash. Flash with cool new armor. And they're walking around and they're talking about how they need Deathstroke to. Deathstroke and Batman's are buddies. Yeah. Probably after the Batman versus Deathstroke film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they, they go through this. They're walking through and they're like, "We have to hide. You know, we 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 don't want them to find us." And then there's this long exchange between Joker and Batman. And I didn't like anything about their exchange. They're, they're talking about... Uh, I liked the idea yeah. that Joker has to be on Batman's team, but I didn't like any of the execution. Yeah, I, they, they, ha- they, you can cl- they clearly hate each other, but they're talking... They, you can tell that they need each other. And they're just like firing barbs at each other, but it doesn't work. Jared Leto... I it thought he would like improve his performance as Joker, and this was even more awkward. Well, he he literally says like, "Who if I'm gone, who's gonna give you a reach around or whatever it is?" Like, he what? didn't like that. Yeah, I it's like that. what what the hell is the point of this thing? It's like I like the idea of him taunting taunting him over Robin's death and Batman firing back over Harley's death. They talk about these things, yeah. and they're they're pretty much threatening to kill each other once this thing is over. They they create a little uneasy truce, and then Superman shows up and probably kills all of them because that's the power level of evil yeah. Superman. Yeah, it's, it's it's different from Injustice. Zach's like, I'm going to do my own Injustice because Superman fucking murders Joker in, in Injustice after killing Lo- uh, after yeah. forcing him to kill Lois. So it was going to be done differently. I like the idea of teaming up Joker with Batman, but the execution here, like you said, it was cringy. It didn't really work. His Jared performance is... St- his like his Joker like laugh is no. worse. It got even worse. I kind of like the cackling from the thing. It got used to it. But this is... It's like worse cackling. He's like, Yes. Well, I hated like Mira too. Trying, yeah, oh yeah, I hate oh, way too hard. She also does this thing she's where she's a terrible actress. Yeah. Well, she's Arthur is dead, so he said that Superman has killed Aquaman, and so she's like, "I'm gonna stab him in the heart let, with my trident." It's I'll, like I'll you're gonna use my him. dumb ass was thinking, "Oh, it's Dark Side killed Aquaman," and then I'm like, "Oh." Yeah, no, Superman, Superman killed no. everybody. <laughs> uh, and, but her, her delivery was bad. The lines were bad. Completely unbelievable. It's like, you yeah. have a stick. L- lady, you have to carry around two tubs of water because you're a, you know, a fish lady. Yeah. And <laughs> you have a stick. And you're going to fight evil Hitler Superman? No. Shut the fuck Shut up. The fuck this up. is stupid. <laughs> yeah. And then Superman shows up. And, and he he's like fucking mad. And you're right. Uh, that'll be the end of it. Uh, you actually don't need to see it because right then and there, he goes, <laughs> Dark Side wins. He blows everyone? No, no, Joker. Yeah, he could if he wanted. <laughs> freezes him <laughs> and then uh, flicks him. But yeah, uh, the chair little, like his performance was terrible. I, 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 was, I was actually what? getting hyped. I shouldn't have got hyped for it because That's Zach your, was teasing no, it, that right? Was your fault. That this is a new Jared Leto Joker. Nope. He's different. It is different, but I still didn't Oh, like he has it. long hair. Yeah, and during the apocalypse, he still carries around white makeup and red and lipstick. And now we know he actually did kill the boy Wonder, and mm. we know that, uh, you, know, uh, he, uh, you know, Harley died as well. Great. So Mar- Margot Robbie is saved uh, with uh, f- not having to be <laughs> in, in it. <laughs> they probably would have hired her to kill her off in the Probably. screen, and that would oh, that would have <sighs> shocked shocked everybody if Margot died. Anyways, so that was uh, Zack Snyder's uh, vision uh, mm-hmm. in its entirety, and it's uh, complete. And then he's teasing. I don't know if Zack really wants. To, if they ask Zack to do it, would he do it? Uh, giving us the injustice version. Do I want to see it? <laughs> no, because I don't like Superman <laughs> like know. that. You know, you guys know me. But yes, because I want to eventually get to maybe Superman being good. 
but maybe he won't be good. It, I don't know. He would go too far, and you can't redeem. And it's like, oh, stop junking up my Superman. Maybe, here's the thing. Maybe, I don't mind if you do it just injustice eventually, but give us a little bit more Superman before you just go full on, he's a bad guy. He's not Superman. <coughs> well, they rush everything, obviously, like Doom and his death and everything. So yeah, so it was all rush. regardless. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, Doomsday! I, I I keep forgetting like how how, how they massacred my boy. Up Doomsday uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Superman's death boy. and all these things. So I'm starting. So I'm yeah, glad yeah. I didn't it's gonna go, be rushed. I'm glad I didn't go too gushing over the film. We ate. I was like, "This is your vision. It's not what I would do, but you executed your vision about as well as you could execute your vision. It's an interesting. It's an. It's, a, it's such a cool thing to see. Like we wouldn't have never gotten this, and then he got to flesh it out. And it's it's there. Um, it's just such a weird state that we're in because I don't. This is his, this I was think his plan you for do years. multiverses. Though oh. I think you can do that. Yeah. I want it. I actually want if they end up doing the Val Zod Superman, the Black Superman. I wish that that could live in the world with Henry Cavill. We can have two Superman. Have them meet. <laughs> two Superman movies or have <laughs> Henry Cavill in Black Adam because I know for a fact that Dwayne Johnson has pull and Dwayne's like I want Henry in my film. I want Superman in my film. Yeah, so and I hope Dwayne is like I still want Henry. I, I don't want this new one because I want to be in this particular universe but maybe he'll be like I want that one instead I don't know but uh, I think it's a multiverse and I think you can have them all yeah. and I hope that we Wishful can have them thinking. all so if they do want to if this does well enough and they want to give Zach a hundred million to do Injustice on HBO Max exclusively but yet still do other you know <laughs> other Superman projects. and other DC and Man of Steel 2 you got me that's all you need to do <laughs> just say Joe you're getting Man of Steel 2 and uh, we're going to do injustice. I'm like, hey, oh, okay. Man, it's still too. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, guys. That's we're it. Doing right. That's we We went through all the spoilers. That's our thoughts on everything. And uh, um, huge long thing to go through. But oh, hopefully. But at the end, end, we forgot. What? Martian Manhunter goes and visits. Oh, shit. <laughs> he goes and visits Bruce. Tell us like, about hey, that. In the ninth <laughs> end credit scene, because. <laughs> like, where the fuck were you, man? Again. You fucking asshole. You could have helped I'm us. I'm happy that that actor is like, yay, I'm somebody I, I, yeah. now. Because I like that actor, but it's like. But you were here. You could have helped you're, us. You're even worse than Wonder Woman, man. You're just sitting yeah. there like a little coward. Not like, doing you have room for one more? It's like, yeah, we need all the help we can get. And, scene. and he's like, okay, I'll, I'll be in touch later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, can tell that, I can tell that was filmed afterwards because Affleck looked a little different because he, he's slimming down for recently mm. uh, for a role here. Go call me. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Mars, but my name's John. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Is there going to be fire if we fight? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Far bad. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to G Fuel. Hopefully you got yourself some G Fuel to get through our spoilers discussion, to get through the films. If you have them below, click those links down below. Great percent off, and it supports our show. Yep. Thank you to G Fuel, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.